Okay, let's take these trades. Look at these trades this morning. Uh, it's only 8:30 this morning, but um, we can get into these wave patterns early. These are two setups that just happened here uh, in the in the room here. So uh, we want to see this is the momentum chart right here, the momentum chart, and this works on all markets. I don't care if you're looking at stocks, all futures. You know, it works on currency markets. Whatever you look at, it works the same way. This is the momentum chart. And what we have is we have our three zones, which is comp uh, comprised of six lines or three zones. And these zones are very, very key because they're very accurate on predicting price reversals. So what we want to try to do is we want to see when there's momentum coming in the market and we want to look for retracements at these zones. So uh, the easiest way to do it is when we have six, count them, one, two, three, four, five, six lines, ATR lines, are that's three zones. When we see three zones all print green together for the first time, all green red dots, we want to look for the first retracement to the first zone. And this is our first retracement. This is called the first wave that we look for. And then what we want to do is we want to look for the second wave for the next trade. There's your second wave. The third wave, what we'll wait on is our deep retracement that's down here. This will be our third wave. You get three shots at it with any given market that you trade off this momentum chart. So uh, what we want to do then is we want to see six green or six red and then look for the first retracement. Now, the best trade you're going to get, if you stop right at the first zone, this is a shallow retracement. Those are the best because what they like to do is they like to sell or, or buy high, sell higher. A lot of these algos buy high, sell higher, or they short low, buy lower. If you've been noticing over the past week, week and a half, this S&P has just been getting taken to the woodshed to the downside. So they've just been selling every single retracement up that they could. So they're, they're, they're selling low and buying lower, selling low, buying lower, selling low, buying lower. So every single movement we get uh, the last week to the downside, they've just been selling the retracement, selling every single rip up in the market that we get. Uh, they've been selling it. And these have been helping us determine the exact possible reversal points, these WPTs. Because what we want to do is we want to see it all green. That gives that tells us that the market is possibly going vertical. The market has momentum, right? What we need is we need momentum in the market because what we want is futures traders or stock traders or currency traders or forex traders. We need momentum. Momentum creates retracements. Tra retracements create opportunity to get in a high probability, low risk trade. So we don't want to be buying these highs, these high tops, right, when the market's moving up. We want to buy these retracements as the market's moving up. So the key to the algo is, are these, um, are these ATRs? The ATRs, we want to stay on the right side of them. So if they're green, we want to be buying retracements. If they're red, we want to be selling retracements. Now, what I like to do, this is the five sim rank over here. I like to match it up. Uh, if my momentum chart is showing six green, I want to see a WPT optic color speed bars come on my five sim also. I want this to match up. Match up here. See, it matches up. It matches up there. Now, the third one is a higher risk trade because you are buying on the symmetry dots. My sim dots are very actor by themselves, but they're a second tier indicator. They're, they're like a second or third tier indicator. They're not a main indicator to trade off of. They give you confluence. We got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of traders around the world that use this the R symmetry dots here. But they're more of a second tier or third tier confirmation indicator. They're not they're not a main ATR or WPT uh, where these uh, volume spikes are happening. So but they do like the WPT right on the symmetry, but this is a higher risk trade if you get pulled in. I like when it comes to the zone. I like these zones because these zones are extremely accurate on catching price reversals with our volume spikes or our speed bars. So when you get these speed bars that come up, 
we'll blow this up. When you get these speed bars that come up, it tells you possible reversal. So this is a major heads up. These are not lagging indicators. It's not a moving average. You know, this is not a MAC. A lot of traders use a MAC, which is worthless. Moving averages are worthless by nature too. Moving averages are great for trend direction. Terrible for looking for support and resistance because you don't know which one they're going to stop at, the 200, the 50, the 20. You know, there's so many different moving average combos. They're just not very accurate and they're very lagging. Where these WPTs, what's called the rolling position traders, that's why we call it a WPT. I nicknamed the WPT. This is the counter trend traders. The, the, the counter trend traders, the momentum comes in the market, right? And it catches these counter trend traders trying to say, okay, well, we're going to sell this retracement up, but they're wrong because what the market's doing is they're setting a new high. They're thinking it's an M top up here. All these traders that use short term indicators or moving averages or the MAC or what have you, RSI. And they're thinking, oh, I'm going to short this retracement. Market's moving down again and they get trapped right here. It's a trap. They trap all the short sellers right here right at the key retracement because this WPT opposite color speed bars here told us there's a possible reversal coming in and we can use our oscillator below or any other you can use the uni bar if you want I like using the uni bar myself the ninja uni bar, uni, uni bar. but there's your entry to the upside same thing again the WPT comes in there's your opposite color speed bars this is a volume spike, meaning you're getting a lot of counter trend traders hitting the bid. They're really thinking this market's going lower. It's another trap. They just trapped the rolling position traders again. All the novice counter trend traders that like to counter trend trade the market with all their different hundreds of different indicators and thousands of different indicators out there that try to counter the market. Well, they got trapped again. They're wrong. And the market traps them again and they get stopped again. The upside. Then the market comes down again. This is a really shallow retracement. Stops up my symmetry dots. Doesn't get to the zone. This is an aggressive trade. I don't like taking these trades myself. I like getting into this third zone down here after the first two retracements. This is what I'll look for on the third setup. I'll see if it come down to the zone. So the shots you get at it when you first turn all six green or all six red, you get one shot at it here. The first retracement. The first retracement or the first test is always the best. That's your best setup you're going to get. The second is the best. Well, I bet second is the second best. The third would be down here at the deep zone. Okay, so if you're new to the system, what I would do is I would just cherry look at cherry picking the first retracement on and the second retracement off of a momentum chart zone. In fact, I got traders inside and outside the room that just trade this particular setup and that's it. They wait for the momentum dots to show all six green, all six red, and they only look for the first and second retracement. That's it to get pulled in. And they won't even trade the deep zone down here. But you can trade the deep zone if you want. Also, um, uh, those are usually larger moves. Sometimes they will catch the session morning low or session morning high. That zone, because that's a golden ratio, that's a 62% zone. So that likes to catch it down here at the third retracement. Um, I mean the third deep zone, the third setup you look at. So you can try to do that if you'd like. Um, um, but there, the momentum is dissipated. The momentum is dissipated because you already got your two big snapbacks um, in the market right here. So <clears throat> these are the two biggest trades you want to look at. That retracement, that retracement. And you get the big heads up, like I said, is it's very simple. If you have all six green ATR dots, you look for the opposite color speed bars. So if I'm trying to short the market, if I'm trying to short the market, I'm looking for this. I'm looking for all six red, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's my opposite color speed bars right into my zone. And then you, there's your oscillator to pull you in right there. I like the magenta getting below the 80% uh, line. So the opposite would be as far as that goes. Now, when you get a hard, hard trend, it works really nice because they're so, so accurate. I mean, this market, the s and is just getting, like I said, taking the woodshed, and this, this algorithm has just been absolutely on fire, on fire catching these reversals. 
because what happens is the, the momentum comes in, the algo catches it with the S and P just getting uh, S and P the the, the Dow uh, the Dow the uh, the Russell two thousand even uh, crude oil to the upside. Crude's been working its way up. I mean, some traders are thinking that it may even hit two hundred and fifty dollars a barrel one day. It's crazy, but uh, crude's been working up and S and P's been working down. But here's your first retracement uh, when you get all six red for the WPT. So when you when you turn on six red, you look for opposite color speed bars or volume spikes catching the counter trend shares. The other way, you look for green volume spikes, green volume spikes, green volume spikes. Now we just caught all the rolling position traders trying to catch the market low. They're thinking to themselves, all these thousands of indicators that are available on these trading platforms saying buy, buy, buy. It can't go any lower. That's what they're thinking in their head. It, this market can't go any lower. It's below 3,800. It was just at 4,200. It can't go any lower. Yes, it can. You know, this thing can go down to 3,600, 3,700, 3,400, 3,300. So the market is in a, this is the first bear territory we've had on the S&P. Uh, the S&P is now down, was down over 20% for the year. That enters bear territory. So you just can't think, well, it can't go any lower when you're, when you're trading setups. Well, yes, it can. So what you can do with the algo is you can sell these retracements. There's another one. Look how accurate the algo is when you turn all six red or all six green. It is incredibly accurate when you get pulled in. Where you're going to get stopped out with this is you're going to get stopped out trying to trade non-momentum. So here's momentum all six red again. Look how accurate it is. Just absolutely caught this sweet spot in the market. I mean, that just got drilled. 3,700 is almost a 50 S&P point play. Uh, 200 ticks on the S&P. But here's where you get stopped up. Let me show you. Here, there's a deep retracement I talked about. That 62% gold ratio, love these on catching swing high, swing lows, recessions. That absolutely nailed the market, and that was over a 100 S&P point hit. So, you know, if you look at the, uh, uh, if you look at, let's see where you get stopped at. Let me show you. So there's the six red. Let me show you. Let me see. Chop. There we go. This is where you got to be careful with. Now, yes, these WPTs work. But look when you get yellow on the downside and green on the upside. What this indicates, guys, is this indicates a chop market. This is when the market is in a range. That's where you got to be careful. If you see, if you see the ATR zones are yellow on one side or green on one side, red on the other side, we're indicated chop. When chop, I'll show you again. Let me show you a chop one. Right there is all six green, all six red. Look at this. Look how accurate this thing is. Beautiful. Momentum has just been crazy to the downside. Let me see. Hold on one sec. Let me show you. That's all six green, all six red. See how it catches it? Catches that low. This is a big explosion to the upside. Another big trade. Let me try to find one where it's chopped, though. Here we go. This is range. So if I got yellow and green or green and red, just be careful, okay? Just sit on the sidelines. This is where it becomes very dangerous to trade the market. You can tell this retracement up here. This is a this is a stop out right there. That's a stop out. See this WPT? That's a stop out. See this WPT? That's a stop out. Okay. Why? Because you're not all red. You're not all green. You're yellow, and you're green on the opposite side. Also, that's where you got to be careful. So you have to know when it's momentum and when it's not momentum. All yellow is a neutral stance in the market. Red and yellow or red and green on each side of the market is a neutral stance in the market. This is a momentum stance in the market, the first and second trade. Now, what you want to do is, like I said, there's your first shot at it. There's your second shot at this morning. This, to me, is a non-trade. Don't take this trade over here. Why? Because now I'm looking for a deeper retracement down to 62%. So you don't want to take a shot at this. You want to look for the zone. Now, if this zone fails, and let's say we don't get pulled in at this zone down here, what do you want to do? What happens is, and this has happened ever since we opened the trading room, if this zone fails and it busts right through without getting pulled in, it goes like this. 
and you bust through it, then you think failure retest. Now my, my outer zone failed. I'm looking for it to retest, which it loves to do. It will come up and retest. If I see an offset color speed bar, which now will be a green speed bar since I broke the lower end of my lowest zone, if I see an offset color speed bar, what I want to do is I want to short that high, and it should take out these lows. The market should tank, and we should just accelerate to the downside with a small stop above the high end of that zone. So that's the rhythm of it, of how you do this. And you'll see thousands and thousands and thousands of setups like this. If you go back and look, and you look at whoever leases the program, it's the same rhythm. Six green, six red, first, second retracement. Never look for the third. You can if you want to be aggressive, but you're looking for this deep retracement to hold. And if it doesn't hold in an uptrend, then you're looking for it to break. If it breaks, and if it doesn't get pulled in, breaks, you look for that natural ABC pattern up. You look for optic color speed bar green, and we should take out the lows all the way down here. It should go all the way down to these lows, and your target should be all the way down here on taking these lows out, which would be around 3,700. That's around a 16-point S&P play. Okay? Then what will happen is, okay, and this is just like this. Watch. Look at my 62% retracement took out the high. Here's my 62% retracement that held. But then look how it broke through and never got pulled in, and it broke through the high. So what happened? It all turned six red or green. There's my momentum shift. There's my first retracement. Now we're going back up. <clears throat> the same thing will happen this morning. This market is below the whole number 3,800. We're probably going to sell off again today. So if, as long as we stay below 3,800, you know, that was really a key level, is that we're probably going to sell off again. So what you want to do is if you get short, break through these lows, retest, optic color speed bar so you get short right here, or what you can do is look to take these lows out. So what you can do is you can see we got support down here, right? See this major support? So what you want to see is you want to take these lows out then, right here, take the lows out. And then once the lows are taken out, I want to see red speed bars come in. And then I want to look for the first retrace it back up that started just like this. So what you want to do is you want to see this right here, happen over here. Get an optic color speed bar, retest that zone, get the nice push up. So here we come with the WPT. WPT is firing. We haven't got pulled in. Oscillator is still below 80%. I mean, uh, 20%. Still we, I would personally like to see this break through this 62% zone, get a failure, retest with the green, optic color green speed bar, and get crank into the downside. That's a 16-point S&P potential play with a small stop. Then I'd like to see us continue to sell off. Um, I like when the market goes down. It's a lot easier to me to short than go, to go long because they fall so quick to the downside. And this market has broken its back, really, when it broke its 200-day moving average up to the, what, 4,200 to 4,300 level on the S&P. So we're in bear territory right now. So what we want to see, I'd love to see is rip below, right, and go below this 62%, uh, and then retest, come down these lows, but I'd really like to see us take out the lows again, take out these lows, get a retracement again. So we'll see. So we're going to probably react off of this. That's a setup to look for the next setup. Uh, we should have a reaction off this 62% retracement. This is the third setup, I mean third possible entry. Okay, they'd love to react off my 62%. So you can see it's trying to bounce off the zone right now. Um, so we'll see what happens. If it does break, look for that break retest. And then we'll try to see if this market can uh, take out these lows or go down to these lows. We do have a 16-point potential S&P play with a small stop coming up if that happens. And if we do take out the lows again, we'll, we'll try it again. We'll try to take out these lows, let, it, let them sell it off. The easy way to do this when it's momentum trading, and this is very simple to see these trades, you want to see the market just go vertical. Once the market goes vertical, what the market tries to do is it tries to take out that low again. So uh, what happens is, or take out that high, what happens when this market, so this market comes in and we, and we start getting momentum hard up, right? You harden momentum up, and what happens, the market likes to do what? They like to come down, and they like to move right through that high again. 
So they like to come down, new high. They like to come down, retracement. They like to move through that high again. All right, they like to come down. That's how the market works. Stair steps down, stair steps up. And they like to move through the high again. So we get these WPTs, these retracement trades. They really are very average catch and low. Now vice versa, if the market's moving down to the downside, you, 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 you short low by lower. And this is what traders can't understand. They just cannot understand this. And it, it's, it, it, it blows my mind that they can't understand this. The average trader that, that is wrong in these markets, they say, well, we, I like to buy low, sell high. It's almost impossible to get the highs and tops. No one could possibly do it. It's very impossible. But what you can do is you can short low and buy lower. Short low and buy lower. Or like this morning, you buy high and sell higher. You buy high and sell higher. That's why the public is typically wrong all the time because they're always taught with all these books and indicators out there, a lot of these thousands and thousands of indicators, the indicators are taught to do what? To counter trend trade the market. That's what they're taught. These indicators are, are, they teach traders all these books that you get in Amazon and all these books on trading. They're always taught counter the market, counter the market. Well, counter the market is exactly what you don't want to do. What you want to try to do is you want to get a leading indicator and a leading algo that says, hey, I'm going to short, the market is going vertical. This is telling me right here, look at all red. You know, this is telling me the market is going lower. So what all these oscillators do, they try to say, hey, buy at this low. Look at these kind of traders. Well, they got stopped out, stopped out, stopped out, stopped out, stopped out. So it's very painful for traders in a market like this that are counter trend traders. They typically will wipe their accounts out completely or they'll, they'll just try to keep funding their account, trying to say, why I, I, I'm eventually going to catch the bottom of this market. Well, you, this market can keep going down, like I said. You know, there, there's no, we're in bear territory for the first time all year. So, you know, we're down over 20%, like I said, on the S&P. So you want to try, what, on the opposite, what you want to try to do is we get all momentum down, sell the retracement, sell the retracement, sell the retracement, buy low, sell, buy low, sell low, buy lower, sell low, buy lower, sell low, buy lower, sell low, buy lower. So I got one, that one worked, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine retracements on the downside. And it was eight for nine. This one would have been stopped out. So you were eight for nine on, on just shorting the retracement on that move down. Eight for nine. Instead of trying to catch the bottoms on the way down. So that's why this works so well. This algo works so well because it's a rhythm, a certain rhythm. So to go back to it, you look for the first retracement, the second retracement, and look at my D that I said, this is where it should bounce out of, 62% gold ratio. That's my third retracement. Now the levels have been tested. So what I want to see happen, I want to see a breakthrough, break through the deep retracement, retest the deep retracement with a golden, I mean with a um, green reversal spike feed bar like this, only green. I want to see a green one. Form on the retest and then look for a 16 point possible S&P slide. That's the plan this morning. Now then, what I'd like to see, since we've tested this level so many times, I'd like to see this support level get taken out. So I'd like to see as go right through the support level today. And I'd like to see it retest, start showing red speed bars, retest opposite color speed, uh, green bars, and try to possibly get in the market that way also. So this is the same setup every single day over and over that we're going to see again. 